So I would love to talk about the mechanism of this vaccine. So an mRNA vaccine has never been approved and marketed uh, before. So can you talk to us a little bit about how this kind of vaccine differs from a, a more traditional vaccine, like the flu shot that we're all used to getting every year? Right. Yeah, absolutely. So the flu shot is what is called an inactivated vaccine. That's where basically it's pretty simple. You take a bunch of chicken eggs um, that have been fertilized. You inject them with influenza, your virus stock. You use those chicken eggs to grow up a bunch of virus because flu grows exceptionally well in chicken eggs. And then you inactivate that virus. You render it non-infectious, usually by some kind of chemical treatment. Um, and then you give that vaccine to people, um, your immune system will respond to what are called the antigens, the proteins on the outside of the virus particle. Um, and that's how you develop immunity with that type of vaccine. This, an mRNA vaccine takes the mRNA or messenger RNA, which is the instructions basically to your cells, um, protein making machinery to make the antigen rather than giving you um, an inactivated virus particle from SARS coronavirus 2, they give you an mRNA that expresses the spike protein on the surface of SARS coronavirus 2. So your immune system will still recognize that protein as being foreign and will respond to it. Um, it just, it circumvents the need to actually grow up a lot of virus um, and it, it makes your cells basically do the work of expressing that antigen for your immune system to recognize for you. Um, so both the Pfizer vaccine and the Moderna vaccine are mRNA vaccines that work this way. And you're correct, um, they have never been approved for, for human use. Um, they have had some clinical trials in phase one for other viral infections. So there, there is some precedent for testing them in people but they have never been used on a, on a wide scale, um, certainly not in circumstances like this.